The day I met Caleb Drake, the sun shone a little brighter on my world. Well, ignoring the fact that he compared me to a llama. What a douche. My roommate Cammy asked why he was talking to me, so I joked that he is recruiting members for his fan club. But Cammy made it very clear that I wasn't getting off the hook. And that is how I ended up at Caleb's basketball game. He asked me out in front of the whole school, so I blackmailed him to miss the shot if he wanted to go out with me. No, 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 no. How could he do that? Later, I got a letter from Caleb saying that it was time to pay up. We were going on a date. I owed him. I met Caleb in a library. We talked and he surprised me. Caleb was not an illiterate stupid jock. He read books like Great Expectations. I also noticed an accent for the first time, British. He concluded that he was taking me out on a date, no excuses, and said he was going to kiss me over my dead body. <laughs> but I fell hard and fast for Caleb Drake. He's the only person I would ever let myself care about. It was also the first time I was happy since my mother's death. But things got ugly and we broke up. However, Caleb was like an itch that never went away. And he did not hesitate to move on. Her name was Jessica Alexander. I decided to befriend the enemy, but I soon found out that Jessica was pregnant and she needed someone to take her to get an abortion. She needed someone she could trust, so I offered. She asked me if I thought she was doing the right thing, and thinking of my chances with Caleb, I replied yes. What have you done? I'm so selfish. We got back together, and for a while, we were inseparable. But he did something horrible to hurt me badly. And I made him pay for it. He said he would love again and I would hurt forever. Because he was the one and I threw him away. moved on. I met Caleb by chance in a music store years after our breakup. He had lost his memory in an accident. So like the opportunist I was, I paved my way into his life. Pretending to be a stranger he never knew. Everything went well. I had a second chance. Until Leah, Caleb's girlfriend, made her move. This is how I lost Caleb a second time. No matter how much I wanted him, he was Leah's. That's it! I'm leaving and never coming back! Our paths crossed again years later. Caleb blamed me for leaving. But everything was Leah's fault. I needed to tell Caleb, but the couple already left for Rome. I met Noah on my mission of stealing Caleb back from Leah. He listened to my story and told me that there is more to loving someone than making yourself happy. 
In the end, the truth floated to the surface. Yes, I still love him with all my heart, but I fought and I fought and tore into pieces which should have been protected. Noah has shown me to be good, gentle, and has shown me truth about myself. I changed for Noah because I didn't dare hurt another person who loved me. I adore him, but he doesn't have my heart. You can only give your heart away once. I am a survivor because I fought the monster in myself and won. But what have I lost in the process? <laughs>